All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Guitario Live guitar and dongles for Guitario Live on RPCX3 or Win for Windows. So this will work for every platform besides Xbox One. So this works for the PS4 dongle, PS3 and Wii U dongle, the 360 dongle and the iOS guitar. Xbox One has currently no dongle drivers for Windows at least. It has for Linux, but not for Windows. So first of all figure out what guitar you have ios is this console is this so if you have a console one they're actually color coded that's basically ps4 is blue um the xbox one's black 360's green ps3 we use gray i have a photo of what it actually looks like in real life um the kind of the next gen consoles well at least the three xbox and ps4 um have the longer sticks but the color codes are at the buttons so you got the Xbox One, the black, PS4's got a blue button, 360's got a green button, and the PS3 and Wii U have a grey button, and they share the same dongle. And the iOS is just a Bluetooth guitar. So, first of all, we'll start off with the PS4, plug that in, um, make sure it's hooked up, you hear the chime, red lights on the dongle, hooked up, great, let's go and download some software that we need. So this GL Poke machine, it's also on the mod tools if you go through the setup it will actually show you which drivers to get or if you're on the discord go to gain get started set up faq and scroll all the way to the top and you'll get information on what to do for links and stuff but you need to download this there is some how-to instructions um there's a precaution thing we're going to do to make sure everything's set up right but first of all go download it go to the releases scroll down download the zip extract it and we also need to download this ZADIG software. This is just for USBs because we need it for to double check if our USB is set up correct. And this is as well for the Wii U and PS3. Once you guys got those downloaded, I've got them all down here. Um, we'll go and open up uh, ZADIG. Um, it will ask for admin privileges, but we're just going to click yes. So it's going to bring up this window, click on options, click on list all devices and look for a device called Guitar Hero. And whatever's in this column or this box here is basically what it's currently installed. We need this uh, hid USB for the PS4 dongle um, for it to work. So if it says something else, we might need to go and uninstall it. So which we can't do it with this, but this will just tell us what's installed. But if you're having an issue, go open up Device Manager. You can literally just do Windows S and then type in Device Manager. It'll be under of uh, HID or Human Interface Device. It should be something called Compliant Game Controller. Um, best solution to figure out if it's the dongle. If you have any USBs that are unnecessary, try and plug all your USB devices until you just have your PS4 dongle. And then if you unplug it in and out, you'll figure out eventually uh, which is which. Um, so if you don't have hid USB through DA dig, you might want to go right click on it, uninstall it, click yes to the prompts. You don't really need to restart your computer, but once it's uninstalled, unplug the USB, plug it back in, and it should reinstall everything and it should be the default one. Once it's done, we can go and open up the GH poke machine it'll pop up it'll run and it'll detect the dongle you can stop it and start it again to find another dongle um and you need to keep this open um if this is not open when you're playing guitar live um you can hold all the threat buttons but you won't be able to strum so you need this running in the background so we go back to rpcx3 go to pads and it should pop up as joystick one we need to rebind some stuff so in the discord if you scroll down a bit more you'll find button layouts for what guitar live needs so for us we need to go to here we need to click on filter noise because if we don't do that every input we type in is just going to be this negative U. so we need to filter it so we'll start with the buttons so cross is black one uh, circle is black two, um, triangle is black three, square is white one, L1 is white two, and L1, oh no, R1 is white three, 
Start is your start button of the controller. Select is hero power. And L3 is the GHTV button. And then D-pad up is strum up. D-pad down, down is strum down. And then also the D-pad buttons, you combine them as well. And then left is your your analog on your D-pad on the guitar left. And then right is the same but right. So once it's all done, you can click save. Hit yes if it's saying something's the same. We can go and open up the game. So now I can strum. So it works. But if I turn this off and don't have this running, I can kind of do everything, but I won't be able to hold a button and strum. You will notice I can't strum. The open strum works, but I can't do anything. So you need to have that software working um, in order that to work. So that's the PS4 dongle done. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up the PS3 Wii U dongle. For the PS3 Wii U and iOS, you need to download the software here, which is the GL Utilities, and it's going to ask you to use um, the DX uh, DA Dig thing to install a USB driver. So you go to Assets, download the zip, extract it. So we're going to open it up. It's going to ask for admin. Hit yes. Go here, list list all devices scroll down to your fine guitar hero and if it's saying not win usb you need to go and click install win usb and it will do its thing it will take some time once that's done we can close it we can open up the utilities and it should just connect um the only thing we need to do in rpcx3 is go to pads uh change it to x input and everything is set. You can just click save, go back to RPCX3, and then hit main, and it will just work. So I'm just using my PS3 Wii U dongle. And it works. iOS is the same thing. This is really easy. You just need a Bluetooth dongle, or if your computer has Bluetooth, um, it will just work straight away. Um, and as soon as I turn it on and start pairing, it will start picking it up. If it's like this, that's totally fine, but it will work. So now using my iOS guitar. So the 360 one's actually the stupidly, stupidly easiest one. So you plug in your dongle, it pops in. You need to open up the device manager and we need to scroll down till you find other device right click guitar here update driver browse let me pick scroll down till you find a 360 device or peripheral hit next uh pick 360 control for windows hit next hit yes and it'll be done and it will pop up as a 360 device in here 360 controller make sure your rpcs3 is set to x input click save which i already done Go back to RPCX3, and then it will work. There it is. There it is. And it works. So that's how you set up all the devices and dongles for Guitario Live. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it in support chat if you're having issues, but maybe double check if you've done everything in here, it tells you everything. Um, check if someone else has already done it in RPCX3 or support chat, but this video should tell you how to cover everything. If any other more issues, just feel free to ask in support chat and all that. There'll be a video here for if you want to install the mod, um, or to use the auto install if you want to install it on a new computer or anything and there's also a mod tool guide if eventually it'll come out it'll be there um, showing you how to install cool mods like highways gems um, cool patches and stuff so yeah until next time see ya